Hello, this is Mr. Tubby Cap, and I'm doing a video of how to play Minecraft, and uh, this is the tutorial, so you press L, at, this is Xbox 360, so if you have an Xbox 360 and you've bought Minecraft and you've just started, this is for you, so pr press RS to move around, and press, and press L, at, and press A to jump. Press RT to mine. Press RT to mine. And then you can press a mm, and you can press RB to switch like this. RB and RB and LB to move around like this. So press Y to open your inventory. And your arm is also shown here, so you can put your armor in it. And you press A to pick up half of them, half of your items. If you press X on a bit of oak wood, that's four, it'll turn into two oak wood. And if you... And you can press LT for information about the block. So you press B to exit the inventory. And you can move stuff down and up through the inventory. And then you can eat eat food that you get from killing animals. Press A to continue. And you'll, you will lose some health after a certain amount of time. So you can use food to replenish it. And this is the crafting interface. This in interface allows you to combine the items you've collected to make new items. Um, so you can scroll f you can scroll through the group at type tabs at the top using LB and RB to select the group type of the item you wish to craft. Then use LS to select the item to craft. The crafting area shows the items you require in order to craft the new item. To, cra um, to craft the item and place it in your inventory. You can craft a larger selection of items using a crafting table. Crafting table on works in the same way as basic crafting but you have a larger crafting area allows more combinations of ingredients and you can scroll down to find like all different types of woods and and the bottom right part of the crafting interface shows your inventory this area can also show a description of the currently selected item and the ingredients required to craft it. And this, if you press X on the item, um, it tells you about about how to craft it and what sort of block it is. So if you exit, you can Go on, press X to go on the crafting interface and press A on this oak wood plank. Then press A again, loads, with your oak wood block. Then press B to exit it and of course press A to jump. And, and this is an abandoned house so we can build it like this. And then you can, a lot of crafting can involve multiple steps. Now you have some planks. So we can chop down more trees using RT. Oh, and by the way, when you spawn in, 
you have this Steve skin and you can order all different skins on the Minecraft store. So, yeah. And press um, the, the sticks you move around, press that to change angle and press the other one to crouch. And you can press A for about four blocks you can jump over and now you can craft some like planks again and finish off your house. For the start of a house it doesn't have to be a nice and fancy one, it just needs you to survive the first night. Just like this. And then it doesn't matter what the, about the ground, so you can press X and with the oak, four oak planks you can craft a crafting table. You can place that down using LT and then you can craft more items than you can in the normal interface. So you can craft tools by using this, so you can craft a wooden sword like this. And night time will approach quickly and it's dangerous to be outside unprepared. You can craft armour and weapons but it is sensible to have a safe shelter. So you can craft doors so you can come in and out of houses. And you can craft axes to chop down trees better. And this is the tutorial world, so it's just to me teaching you the basics of Minecraft. Because after you can like uh, get better weapons, you can defeat bosses and um, just go on good adventures. And then you can craft more planks using the A button on the crafting interface. Then what you have to do is craft a door so you can get in and out your house. So if you place and you get three doors out of six planks. So if you place it down like this, you have to press LT to open it and on the door you can press LT to close it again like, like this. So when the mobs come you can just shut the door on them. And in the morning the zombies will burn. And you can make pickaxes in order to go outside and mine some and blocks. So you can press LT, or no, um, RT in order to break blocks. Like stone, you can break with a wooden pickaxe. And you need to craft a suitable, suitable tool in order to break that. So a shovel helps dig soft blocks like dirt and snow faster. So you can, and gravel, so you can basically dig faster. It doesn't matter if you don't dig it like that, it just helps quite a bit. No, never noticed this bit. Oh, and press, if you fall into water like this, just press A, up, A, then you bop up in the water, and you can press the button to move around, then it will make can make you swim and you can craft a chest to store some items in it so you can put some cobblestone in there oh no, and you can put like a stick inside here so you can just get your stick by using Y and then you can craft loads of epic things and and this and you can make upgrades of pickaxes by crafting sticks and crafting a stone pickaxe and there's iron, diamond and gold and there's all different tools too so you can craft a stone sword so you can defend yourself better and stone pickaxes go very quickly like this and you need to build your house and when it becomes night you hide inside here and BAM you're alive And you can create epic worlds like uh, this one. Let's just go down here. Oh, 
Oh, cool, great. But anyway, you can kill cows and sheep and pigs in order to get their meat. And you, with eight cobblestone, you can craft a, a furnace. If you go onto here, then press L A onto to it, you can craft a furnace. And you can kill sheep to get free wool, then get free wood, then you can make a bed to skip the night. Many wo wooden items are used for f fuel, so you will be able to cook some meat so you can get better food. So you can, as an example, put a stick inside and, and cook some, um, and you can cook some cobblestone in order to st turn it into stone. And some go out quicker than each other, so you can put a, a wooden pickaxe in. You can't put any other pickaxes in, and then you get a stone block. And stone blocks, um, you can even mine it with silk touch. And this is what they look like. It's quite a smooth texture, actually. So any and if you can craft beds and everything, that's quite cool. So anyway, I've just bought one half time in this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really will help out the channel. So I hope you enjoyed it. So bye.